hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video i thought i'll show you guys how to make this really cool denim corset i have literally been seeing these everywhere lately so i thought i'll show you guys how i made my own my own little twist um this video will be slightly different as i will be making this corset with boning but it's completely optional you don't have to if you don't want to but without further ado let's get into the video and i hope you guys enjoy so the first thing you're going to need is denim of course this is completely optional which other colour or type that you'd like I just had a whole bag of denim so I just chose from that the second thing you will need is curved pattern tools then a pair of scissors, a tape measure, some tracing paper, some eyelets, a hammer and that's it Okay, so the first thing you want to do is measure the center middle of your torso. Then you want to measure the middle of your torso just underneath your bust and then measure the side to your waist. Then you want to measure half the circumference of your back like so here this part is a bit difficult so you can get someone to help you if you'd like but I used my mannequin so it was fine and then you want to measure from that measurement down to your waist or basically wherever you'd like your corset to stop <laughs> And these measurements will make our pattern for our corset so um, this is why I used my pattern curve tools but you can use um, whatever you'd like to make the curvature in the pattern but as long as you have the basic um, shape of the pattern it's completely fine you can even freehand it if you'd like but this is the basic um, directions I used to make my pattern So the first pattern consists of us using the measurement from the centre of our torso to the middle just underneath our bust and that is the first pattern and then the second pattern is from the centre of our bust to the side. Then the third pattern is the measurement we made from our back but as you can see here I decided to make two patterns and then one for the center so in total there should be four patterns as the two back patterns are the same you only need one pattern for this as we will just be flipping this pattern around then once I had all my measurements I just started to draw up my pattern So once you finish drawing up and cutting out your patterns, you should have four in total. So all I'm doing now is laying my pattern pieces down onto my denim. Um, as I decided to go for two-toned corset, I decided to lay my front and middle pattern of my corset on the lighter part of the denim and the two side seams on the darker part of the denim. For the main front part of your corset you want to cut two of these pants out as obviously there's going to be one on the left side and one on the right side but just remember to flip your pattern around so you don't have two of the same thing and then this is just my center back piece that I'm cutting out you only need to cut out one 
piece of this. Then you will repeat the same thing you did for your main front piece by cutting two of these side pieces out also. Remembering to flip your pattern so you don't get two of the same thing. You also want to cut two of these back pieces as well. Once you finish cutting out all your pieces, you want to start pinning them all together. So that is just what I'm doing right here. So now that I've pinned everything in place, I'm just going to go to my sewing machine and sew all these pieces together. I'm just using a basic straight stitch and sewing all the way down to the end. Once I finished sewing all my pieces together, I just gave it a quick try on just to see how it fit on my body and I was pretty happy with how it came out. Now I'm just going to iron down all my seams just to make them nice and flat and clean and to apply my eyelets for the front. So I'm just folding half a centimeter for my two front pieces just here and then I decided to lay it on my mannequin just to see how it fit and where I wanted my eyelets to be and how I wanted to lace it up. Then I decided to go in and top stitch all my seams down so that's just what I'm doing here and I decided to do it with a white thread and this is how it came out. So I decided to do a double stitch on the side seams and then one base stitch in the center. Once I was done with that, I just started to apply my eyelids. Um, I know every um, instructions for eyelids is different. So whatever eyelids you get, just follow the instructions at the back of your packet. Um, I do apologise that I didn't get the whole footage of me applying these eyelets but it's just half an inch space between them all and I just marked them out with a marker and then made a hole with an unpicker and this is how it came out. Then I just got an old pair of laces and began to lace up my corset. You can use whatever you'd like, you can use ribbon, you can use laces, you can use whatever you'd like. Then you can stop here if you'd like, but since I did decide to add boning, I just stole some from this corset that I thrifted um, a while ago, and then I just cut out half an inch strips here, and I'm just going to use those to put in my boning. So just on the fold where my eyelets stop on the inside of the corset I have hand stitched one of these little strips to the corset as I don't want the stitch to show on the outside and then as you can see here once I've stitched it down I'm just going to fold it over and then use my sewing machine to sew the other half down. So once I had sewn it down just here, I decided to insert my bone in just like this and then you just slot it straight in and then I also decided to make a tunnel just under the bust area as well to give it a bit of structure. So I'm just adding another piece of boning just here. I just repeated the same step on the other side as well then I gave it one more try on just to see how it looked and I was done there is something I want to 
So that is my video guys, I really hope you enjoyed, if you did please do give it a thumbs up, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to see more videos from me and I'll see you guys in my next one, peace.